Hey everyone, I have another short video for you today. Today's video is a super calming game by Lucky Duck Games. This game was sent to me to review for you guys. So today's game is on tranquility. Do you have what it takes to find your paradise island? Video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. So before we start, as you all know, I am Chrissy and this is my channel Two Sheep One Wheat where we play games and I review them. If there is a game that you think I should review, please go ahead and like this video and comment what that game is down below and of course subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss it if I do make that video. So Tranquility is a co-op game for one to five players. This game does have a solo mode for it and it also has an expansion in this box. Now the whole point of this game is to find your paradise island by filling in the sea grid that's on the table full of the consecutive numbers that are on those cards. Now once once you play all of those cards and fill in that grid from start to finish, then you will win the game. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what the game looks like. So this is a recommended setup for your first time playing this game. This is a six by six grid and you're going to be placing all of these nice looking cards here in this whole grid to try to fill it up from start to finish. Now all of these cards are all shuffled together along with five of these finish cards and each player is going to get a start card. So the start card, if you have it in your hand, needs to be placed right here. And once all of the grid inside is completed, if you have a finish card in your hand, you get to place that up in the corner over there. And that is kind of how you win the game. As long as everything is completed and filled up in the grid and you still have cards in your hand, then you have won the game. So once all of these cards are shuffled, I have a two player game set up right here. You're going to divide all the cards up equally, except one in a two player game, you're going to have one extra card. So the person who has one less card is the start player. So you're going to give these to the players and you're going to draw five cards. Now, once you've picked your first five cards, you're going to take your start card and you're going to shuffle that into your deck like so and then it is the first player's turn to play. So this game is pretty large on our table, so I'm just going to put these off to the side here. And the cards in your hand that you have need to remain a secret. So it is a cooperative game, but you're not allowed to talk to anybody. So let's just say I'm first player here. I'm gonna be placing the one down here because I think one to 80, which is how many cards are in here, is a pretty nice number in between these for the six by six grid. Now, every time you place a card down, you can draw a card. Now, there is a second option. You can discard two cards. Now, when discarding, all of your discarded cards which they recommend keeping messy because you're placing them face down because you or any other player can look at anybody's discarded cards. So once you do that, you always wanna replenish back up to five cards. Now when placing a card next down to another card in ascending order, you need to discard the total number difference between those two cards into your discard pile. Now the difference between 13 and 14 is only one. So in this case, I would only have to discard one card. Now if you end up with a start card in your hand, this card must be placed and this is the location that it goes. Now something special happens when you play a start card. All players need to discard a total of eight cards altogether. This is the only time throughout the game that all the players can communicate. So once you've gotten rid of a total of eight cards, you can draw back up to your hand size of five cards. So we know what happens when we place a card next to it that is ascending and it is only one number in difference. You must discard one card from your hand. But what happens if you play a card on an edge or in an empty spot? Then nothing really happens. You don't have to discard any of the cards because it's not actually next to a card. But if you move a card that is right here on the edge, it is considered to be next to this card right here and you would be able to pay the difference from it. Now, of course, these numbers don't really match up because you only have five cards in your hand. So that is something that you need to be mindful of whenever you're playing this game. And like I said, once the finished card has been placed up in the top corner here, after all of these grids here, all of these spots here for all of your cards, 
are filled up and you still have cards that you can play so it's not technically the end of the game, then you have won the game. So this card game is very simple. It's a little bit large on the table, but it's very easy to set it up and you can play this game in such a short time frame. You can just leave it up and you can play a couple of games in a row with this game. So I really enjoyed this game. Um, Tranquility, I feel like, is not the proper name for this because this game is very stressful. You're trying to figure out which way is the best way to be placing all of these numbers down. Now, in a six by six grid, you have 36 spots on this grid. You have 36 spots that you can place cards. Now, your cards go from one to 80. So some would think that that is not that difficult. Um, but it is. <laughs> it is a lot, especially since you're not allowed to communicate with the other players. So the first couple of times that we played this game, well, after the first time anyway, after the first time because we didn't communicate, we read the rules, we are like, okay, figure it out while playing. Nick's idea was to place one here and keep going up two, three, four, five, six, and continuously go up until like 36. I didn't get that memo. I went ahead and started with 86 or 80, I think 80, 80 at the top. And then I think I placed like a 50 in the middle and I completely threw him off of his plan. But since you're not allowed to talk to the other players, I had no idea what he was trying to do. And then, so once we played that first game, then we were able to kind of communicate, talk a little bit afterwards on what we should probably do for our next game since we had already played the first game. And I thought about placing a 40 right down in the middle and then kind of work our way down and up from that 40, which worked out for the most part, but we haven't won this game yet. We haven't at all won this game. We come, we came close, I think, once to you finishing this game. So to me, tranquility, and I understand that you're placing all of these islands down into this sea and trying to find your paradise. It's a cute little story that goes along with this game, but it was not very calm to play <laughs> at all. It was very stressful and when I get stressed and I guess get really deep into a game I start standing up and I start fidgeting and um, I start planning my moves a little bit better and faster so the AP when that happens there is no AP when that happens so I was eager for my turn and really just trying to figure it out and trying to finally win a game and we have yet to do so. Uh, really looking forward to the day that we do. This game is really cute and just something kind of simple that you can set up while my kids are up playing around during the day. It's something that hits our table quite often just for that reason alone. And this game does come with a solo mode. It comes with different vari variants on how to play the game too. So if you want a little bit more expert mode type thing. And then in the small little box comes a, an expansion, the Sea Stormy, I think it's called. Sea Stormy? Well, oh, Sea Stormy. It's called Stormy Sea. <laughs> Stormy Sea expansion, which has awesome artwork on it, just the same as these cards do here. Um, I love, love all of these cards, and especially because it has night on one side and it has this sun on the other, so night and day on all of these cards and all of them. So depending on which um, row or which numbers they come from. They all typically have the same artwork on it for the same numbers. So there's a lot in here, a lot of different artwork and they're all just beautiful, like cartoony, but tranquil. I can see where they're coming from. <laughs> oh, look, this one has polar bears and snowmen. So I, I get why the game is called Tranquil, even though it's not, but I would love to be on any of these places here, on any of these islands. All of them look really nice and cozy, and they do look tranquil, whether it be day or night, and yeah, anyway, the artwork on here is just really cute. It's a good looking game, and even with the expansion too, I took a peek at it because we haven't played we haven't played with the expansion yet, but the expansion was pretty cute. And I love how this box just opens up like that. Um, so the expansion here, let me get it out so that we can take a look at it too. Um, get rid of those, all the start cards that we don't need. 
These ones are a little bit uh, less tranquil. Um, this one has a mermaid here. So these ones aren't night and day. This is just simply the reflection into the water. So this one has a little mermaid with a crashed up boat here and the kraken. Now I have no idea how these work, but I do love the artwork on these ones as well. Uh, I feel like these ones might not be very good, <laughs> you know, with the kraken and the uh, sea here with the lightning bolts and it just looks like a rough go, a rough go. So I have no idea what any of these do. I just wanted to show you because the artwork on them looks really good too, just like the rest of this game. So yeah, anyway, that was my little bit of an overview and a review for this game. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. So anyway, again, this was Tranquility by Lucky Duck Games and a big thank you to them also for sending me this game to review it for you guys. So we decided to do a gameplay in this video too. So I hope you're ready because we're going to start now. Oh, I'm Nick. No, it doesn't matter. They know. It, it matters. No, it doesn't. Are you Nick or are you? The Nick. Mm, hashtag. Oh, I'm definitely him. <laughs> you're definitely him? <laughs> okay, so. What are we playing? Tranquility. No, I'm putting this in at the end of my overview and review for it. So they already know. You did it again, eh? Yeah, I did it again. You didn't invite me for the review. No. This is combo clash all over again. You don't like doing reviews with me. No. Some about your channel and you do it. They like Shh. you. You're the personality. They like my opinions. Well, stick around to the end of this video <laughs> because you'll be able to hear mixed reviews. We're going to play a really tranquil game of <sighs> tranquility. Stressful. This game is so stressful. And we're gonna be re. We're gonna talk. We're about gonna yeah. Other things yeah. because you're not allowed to talk. You can't talk about the game. game. Yeah. So, we'll try not to be boring. She's boring, but we'll try not to be boring. I'm not boring. You're the definition of it. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. You have the least amount of cards, so you are going first. I have the least amount, so I have to go first. Yep, that's, that's what the rule says. I haven't even looked at my cards yet. Well, hurry up. Ticky tacky. I don't want to say that while we were practicing. We did practice this. We have never won this game. So it's been a couple days since I've actually filmed the overview and review for this game. And right, one, two, three, four, five, Just six. pay attention to what I put down. Oh. What? I really threw her off. She wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. She actually. was repeating what we just played. Yeah, we actually won. I know we actually won, but that we have different <laughs> cards now. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying from when I filmed, it's been a couple of days since I filmed the overview and review. Do you imagine if we just put the cards all back in order and... Did the exact <laughs> same thing? That'd be hilarious. Okay. You'd be hilarious. You're actually playing. Dean? Why would you play that one there? Why not? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stick this one right here. Wait, right there? I'm going to stick it right there. You know what? Be a little bit of a rebel. I'll stick that right there. Okay. Did you, you're back up to five? I'm back up to five. Okay. I know how to play this game. Okay, your turn. I know how to play this game. Mumbo jumbo. So every time you put next to one, you gotta subtract the difference, right? Yes. That is right. You know, you wanna fill those holes, but it punishes you. I know. A one, huh? Why not? I guess so. Okay. I'm going all the way up here. 71. <laughs> 77. 77. I don't know if you know how to count. Yeah, it's an 80 or card read. game. Read. It goes up 1 to 80. Uh, yeah, 1 to 80. That's it. But why would it be 71? It's 77. I, I guess so. I'm sorry. Say it again. Look at the camera. Say it again. Well, I rolled my eyes when I said it. So, okay. I'm going to edit the video and I'm going to be like, that little... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
Ooh. You need to discard one. I know I have to discard one. I'm just trying to think which one I want to discard. This is a tranquil game. Why do it's you not. It? It's so stressful. <laughs> Should have been called stressful. <laughs> stressful. You're stressful. <sighs> stressful recording these videos with you. <laughs> it's your turn. I know, but I'm just hurt. You're <laughs> Just, just try to figure out what to say. Tact like that. Yeah, yeah. Discard. I'm thinking. So, so, what do you think of this little game? You know, it's a pretty cute little game. It's a little bit of a setup with all the cards on the side, trying to make sure that it's all even and whatnot. But for it being so stressful, it's okay. I think this game w would have been nice with the player mat. Oh. Right? So you... You didn't have to make the grid, but you know, have a yeah, have like a but an outline for you. The game or comes with yet. different grid types to change up the game. Double sided yeah, maybe. player map. Yeah. Okay. But that turns a nice cheap game into an expensive game. You're an expensive game. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's 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 I. All right, your turn. I feel like this is really tight here. Like this has to be correct. Twenty six. So does 20. all of this. Wow. You're the one who always does that. I didn't do it this time. I know. Taking a page out of your book. Just don't get rid of any cards that belong there. Well, I, I know that now. You know that now. What does that mean? It means, I guess we're going to find out what that means. Oh, no. We can do this. We can do it. We can do this. We can do it. We can do this. Your turn. My turn? Yes. 71. Ah, I'm going to go Weird, here. eh, to place two 71s? Nope. I'm gonna, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you have to get rid of two? I have to get rid of two. Okay. I like the artwork on these cards, so they're not, it's 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 really it's relaxing. Cute. Yeah, Make and we're really only playing like the base of this game oh, yeah. because there's a bunch of different variants and there's even expansion, which I've already mentioned this in the overview. But yeah. we haven't played with it any keep, of them. It keeps it original. But it does. I like this the basic, you know, nice relaxing game of. It's quick and easy. You play it, you go. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. I don't know how many times we played this game the first time. Yeah, because it was just so simple. Yeah. But it was, it was you know, addicting. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, it's definitely a one more time game. Yeah, because you're like, ah, we can do it next time. <laughs> yeah, I think we played six times the first time we played this game. What are you putting down there? 52, no. <laughs> <laughs> Really, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't <laughs> believe we won. I know, Once. I'm still in shock. Like, but maybe it's not that hard. Maybe we've just gotten better. Maybe. I doubt it. I'm going to put 60 there. Yeah, the artwork is pretty cute on here. Is very tranquil. That's about it. <laughs> it gets easier, really, once you start figuring out where the cards are going to go. But yeah. it gets harder because you okay. don't know what's been discarded. I have to get rid of three cards. That's get... pretty big play. Well, I can't use... Those three cards? Well, I guess I can't even say that. <laughs> Two cards, eh? Can't 
Okay. My turn. Your turn. Okay. I have a start card in my hand. Start card. So we each draw two. Yes. And then we can each have to get rid of, we have to get rid of a total of eight, right? Um, yeah, a total of eight. I need that one. I can potentially do four. How many can you do? You can do five. I can do six, but if I do six, then it's less cards I have to discard. So yeah. How many do you not need? Because this is this is, I don't need these. Like, I, I can do these. I technically don't need these. Like, I don't. I technically don't need four. Okay, well then, get rid of four. What do you okay. mean technically though? Like technically, as in like you cannot play them at all, <laughs> or technically, oh, they might fit somewhere. Like, um, what kind of technically are we talking about here? Like, do you do you need them or don't need them? Well, I, okay. I, got, I don't know what to tell you here. Okay, so technically, I, I only I could only play one. All right. Well, I think that's too much information to tell me. But I'm just saying. Maybe. Okay. So three. You want to get rid of yeah, three? Yeah. I'll get rid of three. Okay, and I'll get rid of five. Okay. Oh wait, you take yours. Okay. I keep forgetting about that. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter. Keep your draw pile neat. That's neat. Okay, so I guess then it's your turn, hey? Okay. Well, I guess technically we didn't need a six, right? We could have put in an 11. Yep. Or whatever in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put that one there. And I have to discard one. I'm going to discard... Ooh. Discard that one. That one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta draw a card back up. Okay. Go here. Nope. And I have to discard one. Okay. My turn. Your turn. I feel good about this. Me too. I'm feeling good. Like maybe we just took us like six games to get the hang of it. <laughs> maybe. And then... So I have to get rid of one, hey? Um, I'll get rid of that one. Okay, your turn. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might be time to add like a different variant or... I'm not sure we're ready for the expansion just yeah, yet. Yeah, let's not go crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is that what you said? It's not good. Um, what do I do if I can't? Uh, you discard two cards. I have to discard two cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter which ones I discard. Okay, your turn. Okay, my turn. Um. So, can you stick that one up there for me beside the 77? 77. Yeah, so I have to discard two, right? Two is the number. That one. And, and that, that one. one. We got it. We got her. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's only four and five. Well, I'm going to go here. I'm going to discard two. Okay. Okay. Your turn. I get that. You get that? I get that. I feel like this might screw us. <sighs> Maybe. I don't think I've gotten rid of it. Um, I don't know if you can even tell me that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had it. Okay. Okay, what? What are you thinking? Let us in. Let us into your mind, your thought pattern on this. You know, boy, you really want to have a quiet night with friends. Oh yeah, this game. <laughs> Everyone thinking. Okay. Can I play that number? Is it going to be okay to play that card? Yeah, no kidding. 
Um. Shoot. We only need seven cards left. I had to discard two. Wow, nothing. Wow. Wow. Maybe <gasps> we were... What? We already messed up. What do you mean we already messed up? We already messed up. Where? Oh, yeah. We already messed up big time. Where the hell did the 60 come from? Well, I put that there. I put 65 here. Wow. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. We <laughs> How did we mess that up that bad? We went from 33 to 52. That's what happened. Wow. I was like, oh, okay, I could put 59 here. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did we mess that up? I don't know, but we what were, a good game. We went in too confident. <laughs> I think we're going to do it. <laughs> we only need seven. Seven numbers between 58 and 60. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there's that many numbers oh, between 58 and 60? What a fail. And we caught this one on camera. How come we couldn't get our test one? I'm upset that this is the recorded one. I know. Oh, well. That just goes to show. That, you, get, yeah. you get caught up and you're not paying attention to the space. You know what? It's because... You, so I'm thinking that you need to be quiet in this game to actually play it because we were trying to keep up conversation yeah. so it wasn't boring for you guys to sit here and watch. Wow. And uh, I think that's what I, happened. I can't believe that is a major mess up. We wow. messed that up. Yep. Do we even board game? <laughs> like, we definitely don't know our numbers. No, and 80 is not even that high. I don't even want to, you know, we can go back and, you know, scrub the, the thing to find out who put the 60 there and the 58. Oh, I'll tell you when I edit this video. But if it was me, I... Uh, well, wow. I'm pretty sure that you put 52, but... Oh, I, I totally might have done it. I'm pretty sure I put 33, but I'm pretty sure I put that... F I don't know. First. I don't know. Some Someone of us messed up and we messed up Well, bad. you know what? It was probably both of us. Because whoever put the number there, the other person should have just paid more attention, right? Yeah. Oh, well. That's what happens when we're trying to talk and play board games. <sighs> <laughs> Let's just take that number off and we'll... <laughs> keep going. <laughs> we'll keep going. Do you think it would work? No, that's fine. Because there'd only be four numbers between 60 and 65. No. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, does that to change your review a little bit on this game no i'm i you know moments like this where you just beat yourself up yeah. it's, it's how you know there's fun in the game yeah i uh i'm gonna be bothered by this for a couple days it is um 11 09 p.m right now and we're probably gonna be up for another hour going man i can't believe we messed can't up believe i did that <laughs> oh it's we terrible. just did this and, we, and, and we, we actually and won. We, won. we had it and we oh, I was like, oh, that's not too bad. This game is so easy. Uh, it only took us six games to realize uh, how to play. <laughs> it took us six games to really mess up. We've never messed up this bad. That's what I mean. We've it run out of cards games. that we discarded to fill in, but this was just pure. Oh, we man. Messed up. Good game. No. GG. No. No, NGG. Not good game. <laughs> well. Wow. Did all you I even give your review on it? No, you want my review on this? Yeah, what is it? Tell them all your Nick's review. I like it. I like it. It's simple. It's a small box game. I, I, well, it says I think, 20 minutes. Yeah, I think my only negative on this is how small the box is. No, I like it because you could just you, it's an odd shape box. Yeah, it's it, an odd it didn't box. need to be that. It could have been just a normal card box, but but um, I like it because it's simple. It's one of those games where you just you get caught up in the puzzle of oh I'm gonna play this card down and you don't know what the next person's gonna play. Because you can't talk. You know. And I love the artwork, like the artwork, the day and the night. It's, it's nice. I like it. 
And then there's variants if you somehow get good at this and bored of the original game for some reason. And you I have no idea. played it so much you want to add a little bit of spice to it. This is spicy enough. There's there's more in the box, which is, you know, it's nice when a game comes with a little bit more to add in once you get good, good at it. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if we'll ever become good at this game because, well, you know, all those back there and... All of these here that you can't even have see. Have to keep playing and, you know, once we play for like six, seven, eight, nine times, we kind of have to... We move on. We move on. Move on to the and we're always game. on to the thrill of the the next game yeah so it is definitely a thrill but i like this game this when we first got this game we played this the first day we got it yeah mm -hmm. and we played like it like three four times in a row there's like no 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 we played it a bunch because oh, yeah. it was just like yeah i think so yeah you're it, right it, it was just like oh yeah. we can do this we can beat this Let's do it again and it gives oh us we'll get it next time it takes nothing like it you already got the cards laid out. You just shuffle yeah. them up, and there's a little bit of a setup, or whatever. Yeah, but, but now once the cards are already on the table, then it's super easy. No, you just, just take it, you shuffle the them up, the yeah, yep. put them together. You find out who's got the most, and yeah, we don't even count the cards. You, go. you can tell just by yeah. dividing them up which one yeah. has one extra card and for a two-player game. And away anyway. you go, right? And it's yeah. a good two-player game. It is. It's nice and quiet. It's a little quiet. It's a little quiet. Yeah, it but. is a little quiet, but because it's so stressful, right? Once you get down to the wire and I, I start like it. standing up. It's tranquil. It's not tranquil. And it's stressful. A game of tranquility. It's stressful. As my son would say, four thumbs up. No. Two toe thumbs up and two thumbs thumbs up. If I was as flexible as he, We'd all be I'd short. have my toes in here. <laughs> We're definitely not. We're too old for that. No player aids. No, but you don't really need to. It doesn't it's matter. Quite simple. It doesn't matter. Minus two oh, points. Oh, you know, there are player aids. Get me the box. Is there? Yes, give me the box. Oh my goodness. Shows you how to do setup, solo play, and finish cards, community oh, well. rules, I start take, cards. I take back my minus two points. Yeah. Plus two points. Player aids. Player aids. Whoop. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Don't make a mess. I quit. <laughs>